Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here with a very interesting video. Today we are going to be judging the results from a single core overclocking challenge between three awesome YouTubers, Socket Sanctuary, Retro Adventure, and The Obsoletist. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Now originally I was actually planned to participate in this competition, but I was unable to get the luck I needed from the used hardware market and timing just wasn't right for me. So I thought it would be great to volunteer myself as the final judge and declare a winner on this friendly competition. The rules are very simple. Each creator is tasked to run a series of benchmarks pre-overclocked and post-overclocked and then record a percentage over the base clock score. The one with the highest percentage gets a point and if there's ties, a point is declared to each winner and the person with the most points at the end will be declared the overall winner of this friendly competition. I will only be giving you the numbers in this video for the sake of the video not being 20 minutes long and boring you to death, but if you want to see the particular parts and some deeper information about each creator's test rig, always check the description for links down below. So without any further ado, let's get right into those results. First up, pure clock speed. This test will see who got the highest percentage overclock on their respected chip. In this contest, Socket Sanctuary comes out on top with a 20% increase over the base clock of his Athlon 64 4000+, with the Obsoletus coming in at second with a 13% increase using his Simpron 3400+, and Retro Adventure in third with 8% using his Athlon 64 FX55. Next up, we are going to be taking a look at the highest achieved overclock, which Socket and Retro actually tied with a score of 2808 MHz, with the Obsoletus coming in with a core clock speed in third at 2260 megahertz. Now onto the actual benchmarks. First up with Cinebench, where Socket actually takes this one with a 20.83% increase over the stock score, with the Obsoletus coming in at second with a score of 16.67%, and Retro Adventure not being able to complete this poor test at all. That poor little FX CPU. Next up is 7-Zip Compression Test, where Socket comes out on top once again with a score of 12.8%, while Retro Adventure is in second at 9% and the Obsoletus at 8. The next test is a Handbrake Render Test, where we take into account the highest percentage increase over the stock time, because this is a focused overclocking competition and that's the best way to judge it. And in this battle, the Obsoletus gets on board with a 16.67 increase over his original time, and Retro just oh so close behind with a score of 16.62%, and Socket in a respective third place with 9%. Now onto testing some real games. In CSGO on the training map, Retro comes out with a 41% boost over the stock clocks. Very impressive. With Saki coming in at second at 22 and the Obsoletus not able to complete the test. World of Tanks is up next where once again Retro takes it and ties up the score with Socket at a percentage of 23% while the Obsoletus and Saki come in second and third respectively. Now for the final test where the winner is going to be decided. League of Legends and the results are in. Retro sweeps the gaming category with a 39% increase increase over his stock clock score, and the Obsoletus not far behind at 34 and Socket in third with 30%. And after tallying up all the scores, it appears that Retro has taken this one with a score of 4 and Socket behind with 3, and the Obsoletus coming in at a respectable showing of 1. This was really an awesome competition to judge, and congratulations to all the people involved in it. You all made some really awesome videos, and I had a lot of fun in checking them out and just judging this video in general. It was really awesome. And as I mentioned, if you want to check out those videos that I mentioned, yeah, you know, check the links down below in the description, and be sure to subscribe to all of these guys. They are very knowledgeable with older hardware, and they create some amazing content, and I highly recommend you give them a look. That about wraps things up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and join our Discord community for more content from the Toasty Bros. Hope to see you all in the next one, guys. Peace out.